Milwaukee leaders are looking for the most rundown foreclosed homes. They want to rehab those using millions of federal dollars. Now, the goal is to help first time home buyers expand affordable housing and create generational wealth. Our Julia Fellow explains. Come next year, this four bedroom, two bath bungalow is going to be restored to its former glory, and a family will be moving in to their first ever home that they bought. It will be paid for and restored through American Rescue Plan Act dollars, and they hope to rehab at least 149 more. <laughs> There are 15 nonprofit groups and minority owned companies the city has selected to rehab the homes, like this one near 37th and Kilbourne in the Miller Valley neighborhood. Ezekiel Hope is one of those nonprofits where leaders will simultaneously train minority workers in skilled construction trades. We'll have four or five people that know carpentry, HVAC. Ezekiel trains people who are unemployed or underemployed and also those who have been involved in the criminal justice system. Oh my God, wow. look at that. U.S. Senator Tammy Baldwin was on hand for the tour to tout the 15 million federal dollars secured for this project. She highlighted how dire the housing market is with wealthy out-of-state investors gobbling up homes, she says, which is pricing out locals. And there are people who are spending way more than they can afford on rent just to stay uh, close to their jobs. What I see is a family who's going to see a huge cut in their monthly housing payment when they get here. City leaders are calling this the Homes MKE initiative, where a rehabbed home will be prioritized for sale to a first-time home buyer. Exactly how much those payments might be was not released. But if you are interested in learning more about qualifying to purchase one of these homes, we have a link for you at our website. And all buyers of these restored homes will undergo home ownership counseling to make sure it stays with their families for generations to come.